Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're here in Prince Edward Island, Canada, to test the new Honda Odyssey. The minivan segment, well, over time, it's less and less popular, but guess what? This is the perfect choice, the ideal choice for a family out there on the go with a lot of stuff to carry around. Even Brian O'Connor from Fast and Furious switched to a minivan because of the newborn in his family. So this week at Car Question, a quick review of that new Odyssey. Let's take a brief look at the exterior of the Honda Odyssey. First of all, the front end will remind you of the Honda Pilot and other vehicles in the Honda lineup. They're going to use the chrome. You will see also with the touring version, you will have some LED lights right here. Same thing for the auxiliary light. The blinkers are way down there. Once again, remind me of the rich line. And you cannot reinvent the, the, the size and the shape of a minivan so right now with the design still they added some style so you can see right there the curves in the hood right here you will have your parking aid sensor which is going to be way down there on the side well some design lines they call it the lightning design and when you will open your door or close it it won't leave a big gap right here so they incorporated the gap of the doors right there in the black and you can see also that floating top which is giving a unique styling to the hand some kind of spoiler style right here also you won't have any panoramic sunroof on the top of the odyssey but you will still find that little shark fin antenna the wheels 19 inches of wheels right now on our test car remember that if you go for a less equipped model well you will have a smaller wheels in the back led lights also but they really work on that opening to give you more access when you compare it to the older model also this is going to be where you're going to be able to put all your stuff and believe me there's a lot of space in that minivan right there so closing slowly you've got some nice tension of chrome also all around the car parking sensor way down here and you've got that line surrounding the car everywhere. It's hard to reinvent the styling of the minivan. Yes, I know. But still, Honda is standing out from the group.
major redesign over here. I kind of love the central display that we have right here. You're going to be able to get the maximum information about your trip, your phone, your now playing out there. Everything is really complete. You've got your buttons right here on the left for the doors. Easy access, some tallow shift with the 10 speed, which is going to give you a little bit of a sporty side. One of the major difference right now is in the multimedia system. Honda improved this one. Finally, it's fast. It's easy accessible. It's once you move through the different option. Wow. It's a major improvement out there. So phone information, rear entertainment, boom. Finally, a system that's going to answer speed. Even the trip computer change. And as you can see, this is probably one of the best features out there. Since we are in a minivan, you've got the cabin watch feature, which is going to give you easy access to viewing what the little one is doing either in the rear, either in the second row. So you will be able also to talk to them when you press on cabin talk. And even if they're listening to a movie, I can talk to their headphones. So it's gonna be the voice of God out there. So finally, a good multimedia system. The button of the transmission, that 10 speed transmission, which is right here, a Blu-ray, major space that you can use. The only deception is right there with the glove box. Right here, also same thing, USB connector and some storage space. You've got the QI chargers, which is right here, and it's going to be easy to clean. So let's get to the rear section. Guess what? Right now we're in eight passenger configuration, but as soon as you remove that central section over here, you will be able to use the magic seat feature right here. You can move it all the way through here, separate the children, move them together if you want. And if you have any baby seats around here, you won't need to remove them to get easy access to the rear and the last row right here in that minivan. So you can see right now one of my seats is folded. And by the way, you've got a major, uh, major entertainment system that you have over here with the screen and even the button that you can use to uh, control right there the climate temperature. But one of the nicest features is that you can have some apps on your phone and control the temperature or let's say the music playlist and even a lot of feature of the Odyssey. And that's kind of cool for the technology or the family that likes to be plugged in and have some interaction with their car. So right now I'm gonna lift this seat to show you how easy it is to store the magic seating. So I'm gonna pull back once again and really easy so even somebody who's not strong will be able to do that so if somebody gets a lot of dust around here some dirt you know how long it is to clean your minivan well you've got your honda vac right here and if you need to empty the bag there you go and remember dry only in this one so this is major improvement for the Odyssey. major improvement inside also Alright, let's talk about the specification and the road handling of the new Honda Odyssey. You're gonna find inside the V6 3.5 liter, as you probably know this engine, you will find it in some other vehicle of the Honda lineup. They have added 32 horsepower compared to the previous generation, so it's gonna be good for 280 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. You've got two transmission available with the Odyssey right now. If you go for the basic version, well, you will get the nine speed, the good old ZF, you know, with those kind of abrupt shifting of that transmission. Honda has mastered the programmation of this transmission while some other manufacturers are still searching. You've got the 10 speed also, which is a creation of Honda right now that you will find in the touring model that we are driving right now. So the change of the gears are really impressive it's smooth it's comfortable you're going to be cruising around you won't even feel it but under hard acceleration you will find it sometimes skipping one gear skipping two gears to really get the gear which is going to be suited for your maximum acceleration it's going to be good reaction that you will get from that minivan 
The road handling of the Odyssey was always good. You've got that low center of gravity. Remember that this is probably one of the lowest minivan out there. They have a 44% increase in torsional rigidity when you compare it to the previous model and combine all of those elements to that new suspension is going to give you a great handling minivan. So while you're going to go into corners, you won't feel a lot of movement. Even with the 19 inches wheels, uh, a road with a lot of potholes, you will be impressed what comfort you can get rolling on that surface. So Imogen with the smaller wheels, the comfort that you will have right now with that minivan. 0 to 100 kilometers is going to be in 7.4 seconds according to Honda and one of the cool feature the fuel consumption is really low when you go on highway cruising because at 100 kilometers per hour the engine is only revving 1560 rpm so that's kind of interesting security is important when you have a family around well you want all the features that you can get remember that this is built on the new ace body structure you've got the honda sensing package which is include collision mitigation braking system lane keeping assist adaptive cruise control blind spot information rear cross traffic alert and also front and rear parking sensor honda told us an interesting statistic with the honda you have to know that this one has the highest survival rate when you get an accident with it. Take it or leave it, but if you want a secure car, if you want a secure minivan, that might be the choice for you. Let's talk about fuel consumption. If you go on the highway, this is going to be the best for you. It's going to be 8.5. If you go into city mode, there's a major difference, 12.2. So this is a thirsty V6, I think. We got a little bit higher than announced right now. Not on the highway, but really into city mode. So expect around 13 for this consumption. Let's talk about competition. You still got a lot of good contenders out there. Let's talk about the Chrysler Pacifica. You've got an hybrid version, which is really interesting. You've got a good EV range. It's high price sometimes, but if you stay alert to the manufacturer rebate, you might be able to get it for a good price. You've got also the Dodge Caron that I won't include into that comparison because it's based on the way whole platform out there. So it's less refined and not the same thing, but hey, if you need the cheapest minivan around, this is going to be your choice. You have to know that the Toyota Sienna have all-wheel drive power. This is probably one of its biggest advantage, but to the sacrifice of internal storage out there. The Odyssey has the best storage, the best capacity in the segment right now. The Nissan Quest is going to be bye-bye this year. That's kind of sad. I don't like to see cars or minivan leaving the market. But hey, it would have cost a lot of money to get competitive right now with a full redesign of the Nissan Quest. The Kia Sedona is right there also. A good build quality, an affordable price, but less refined when it comes to road handling. Feels more like an SUV and it's not the same storage space as we have inside our test car. So let's talk about price, $34,890 for the base on the Odyssey. And if you go with the fully equipped, it's going to be $50,290. So I think it's really fair. You've got some more expensive minivan out there. So right now with the reality of Honda, I think you're going to make a good choice. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the Honda Odyssey. But right now the big question remains, will you go for an SUV or go with the minivan? If you have a family and a lot of children, believe me, I know what will be your answer. But still, feel free to comment in the section down there below, come and exchange with us. Do a thumbs up because you liked that video and don't forget to subscribe to Car Question because we will have more video for you, the passionate about cars. Take care, see you another time. <laughs>